hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss monificent here i'm glad that you guys can join me today i am bringing you guys another dollar tree diy this is my dollar tree lantern if you guys are interested in how i made this then keep on watching get into the list of the items that I use to make my lantern everything will be listed down below in the description box so don't forget to check that out step is you want to we're removing the plastic of course but um, there are that little picture hanging thing right there you want to take that off and I'm just going to be using my knife to kind of pop that off now here I'm just showing you I have also removed those corners you have to remove those um, in order for your lantern to fit inside of those and I just kind of pried them worked with them with my big knife you guys can choose whatever tool you want to use don't worry about um, you know splitting your board or whatnot because it's actually stronger than what it seems and the little parts that come off all you have to do is um, just hot glue it back together and it's just as strong as it was coming out of the store okay now I am prepping my surface you do want to prep your surface for this and I am going to begin to paint um, the two um, wall plaques um, for one of them you only need to paint the inside and the outside um, and for the bottom one I'm sorry for the one that's going to go on top you only your preference you only need to paint the um, outside you don't have to paint the inside because it won't be seen but it's totally your preference um, this is going to take two coats you want to do one coat and you want to let it dry it says two hours but let me tell you guys I've been working with chalk paint for a few years now and it dries pretty fast so I say you can give it a good 20 to 30 minutes in between the coats and this did take two coats um, so yeah that's the best thing about this paint is that it does dry pretty fast here I'm just showing you that I am all done everything is dry that is the top part so I didn't paint the inside and this will be the bottom part so that's why I painted the inside of that and this is the paint that I use that comes in a two ounce bottle for a dollar and sixty seven cents at Walmart so still a cheap um, project um, so now I just took this little um, needle nose pliers just to kind of give it a little distressed look this is totally optional you don't even have to use chalk paint if you don't want you can use spray paint okay now moving on you're going to be taking your five by seven picture frames you want to remove the backing on all of them and then um, we're only going to be using two of the actual frames so you also want to remove um, those little um, attachments that keep um, everything all together um, you're just going to take your needle nose pliers and you're just going to pry those apart 
Next you want to take your E6000 glue and we are going to be gluing the inside of the frame with the E6000 as well as hot glue so that um, we can get a quick temporary hold while the E6000 is drying and then we're going to place our glass frame back inside and we're only going to do this for two of the frames and then the other two frames we will not be using okay next we're going to take the glass only from the picture frame and we're going to place some more E6000 and hot glue down in the side of the glass picture frame and we want to um, lay our glass picture frame standing up but it's going to adhere to the inside of the picture frame so we're going to do that on each side of the picture frame going to take our last picture frame with the glass glue down in it and we're going to place E6000 and hot glue down on each side of it and we're going to attach it just like you see it laying on the bottom. Okay so now we are going to place E6000 and hot glue right on the top of the brown frames and we're going to be gluing that down on the inside of one of the wood plaques that we painted the one we painted on the inside we're going to flip it over and press that down into the wood uh, wall plaque Here are those jot stickers here. Unfortunately, I was only I was only able to find them in the red, so I did take these outside and spray paint these with a can of my Rust-Oleum uh, metallic spray paint. And I'm going to be placing these on my top base and my bottom base. And you will see me doing that here. Now that everything is all put together, you can go ahead and take you some a window cleaner and go ahead and clean up your glass, you know, wipe any smears, smudges, little glue drops or whatever, and we can prepare it for um, our last little couple steps. Okay, I took those wood dials, only four of them, and I spray painted it with this Rust-Oleum Kona Brown spray paint that I had. And like I said, I only did four, and it only took like one good coat all the way around. Okay, so now I took those wood dials that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, and I'm running just a strip of glue just down one side, and I'm going to be placing two um, one towards um, the mid-center bottom and then one towards the mid-center top if that makes sense and I'm only doing two sides Okay, you guys here's where the basket comes into play I'm only using the handle off of it but we can still always use the basket without the handle so it's not a waste and it was only a dollar um, so what I did was I also spray painted this with my Rust-Oleum um, metallic gold and you want to um, bend it first with your needle nose pliers so that it can fit around your top base and then you spray paint it after you get your shape and so I'm going to be placing it on my top base using two, I believe they're half inch screws. And so that is what you'll see me doing here. You want to um, try to make sure you center it as best as possible. And then you're just going to screw it down um, using a screwdriver. And here's what you should have and you just want to repeat the same thing on the other side 
okay here is the finished result you guys this is what you should have here is the top base this way you are able to remove it whenever you want to place candles in here or some fall leaf or holiday you know leaf decor whatever you want to place in your lantern however you choose to dress it up you're able to remove the top and do so you can use one candle if you would like or you can use two candles um, of course you would use the battery operated candles which the Dollar Tree do sell um, I thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also share me with your family and friends if you are just visiting I ask that you stay a while by hitting that loyal button down below I will see you guys in my next video until next time God bless